Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is New Kicks Cafe and it's all about them kicks. So I did um, four reviews. All of them is up by now. And um, just trying to figure out which shoes is most comfortable for work, for long standing, for walking and stuff like that. So I did four. And I was going to do all, like combine all four, but I think it only fair for me to break it down in two parts and do one versus the other because for some reason, and this is, this is just pure coincidence, that two other shoes are, they are similar to um, between Adidas and Nike. So I was like, okay, let's just break it down. So in this first one, we're gonna look at the Adidas Swift, Swiss, Swiss Swift Run X and the Nike um, Reposto. So this is what that one looks like. Let me just give you, so you kind of see there's two shoes. So that's the Nike and they all look similar. They just look similar. I mean, they just have the same stripe, but it feels like the same um, material and all of that. But I wear them, I wear them. I think I wear these more than 16 hours. So for two days, over two days. And um, first and foremost, both shoes, this one is $85. The Adidas one is $85. The Nike one is $70 on um, regular retail. All right, and this is a size, the Adidas, both of them is a size 10. What I find, all right, one, the Adidas, one is not for like slippery floor or anything. It doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't, it has grit to the bottom, but it, it gets slippery if you're on particular floor with water. I realize that, so that's a no-no. Um, it's, it's not, all right. So let's do comfort first. The most comfortable of them all is Adidas, um, is the Nike, is a Nike repos. repos. And I'm pleasantly surprised because it's a simple dollar shoes, but I would actually wear this like I felt nothing. It is light, it is airy, it is easy, and it is just super comfortable. The aesthetics of the shoes, um, I still give Nike um, repos over the Adidas. The, I mean, Adidas is, close be, um, behind, but they, I prefer the aesthetics of this one. It's a little bit more narrow, so it makes your feet look straight, and it, and it, and, and it gives a pleasant look. It's much more elegant. Um, this one tends to kind of spread out. Um, the discomfort in this is like there's little nipped or little areas, like you start wearing it, like four or five hours after or even earlier, because I think I started to feel it maybe three hours after, you start to feel little things that just feels uncomfortable. The back of it was good. Um, the, this is not, I wouldn't recommend wearing this on particular floors with water. You're gonna fall. Um, it's not, this is not good. This, this whole traction, it, I mean, it, it holds its own. So, and I'm a little surprised how um, comfortable these are, how good they actually fit on, um, like when the floor is slippery and all of that. So I think this, my, I mean, I am <laughs> taken aback with this one. I was surprised just having it on. And as I said, it's comfortable, it's e eerie, it's, um, it's easy to wear and I would wear this all day. And I guess the comfort is because the material here is very porous, so you can see little holes between, so I guess that's why it's kind of nice. So I, I did enjoy wearing this one. Um, I mean, the Adidas, the Nike one is much more cheaper. So if we're looking at affordability, um, Nike is cheaper because it's $70. It's um, $15 less than um, Adidas. Adidas is $85, Nike is $70. Uh, overall, the aesthetics of it is Nike, as I said before. Um, the durability. I would say both shoes is on the same, the same wavelength. I think is on the same level in terms of the material um, and uh, durability. Even though I think um, Adidas 
material might not, if something hooked it, it might not tear that easy. I think, I think with the Adidas material, if something hooked it, it, it will not tear that easy. With the Adidas um, Night One, because it has these porous things to it, I am afraid, and I've not tested this, that if you hook, this is hooked, the possibility of it to tear, it's um, higher than Adidas. But overall, the winner of these, just wearing them over time, um, is Nike and by far we uh, these were super uncomfortable let me just say that and I wouldn't recommend we buying these for like work or for a whole day thing I honestly I don't know why but there was just something and the shoes is actually big because I play do ten and a half and I'm wondering if that was a part of the problem but earlier I said this was ten it's not ten it's ten and a half yeah, I did get 10 and a half, and this is 10. Nike is 10, Adidas is 10 and a half. So I don't know if that was part of the problem, but overall, Nike gets the better here. So I don't know if you, any you guys have ever tried these shoes. I mean, they are inexpensive. There is no fanfare about them. One is $70 and one is $85. I pay less than, I think less than, I think this one maybe 50 something dollars and this one, I think around $60, um, something like that. So it was no fanfare, all right? So that was the first of just looking at the different um, versus Adidas versus Nike trying to find a comfortable shoes and so far we have out of this first one we have Nike um, winning here because it was most comfortable all right so that was that and what I um, the Nike and is the one I did was Swiss Adidas Swiss Run X and Nike repossess so okay I appreciate you guys watching um, please remember to like comment and subscribe and as always please stay inspired okay I appreciate you all bye see you in the next one